Uh, just a quick follow-up of the 12W7 motor uh, review yesterday. Um, this is, okay, so right here, so this in the butthole, there's a screen, which is, again, it's an old audio habit. It doesn't need to exist there, but they do it anyway to, I guess it's sort of like a, in case of fuckface kind of insurance. Um, the problem is, is that it restricts airflow, which is exactly what you don't want in this situation in the in the vent and also for the cooling so um but it does keep particles from being out and you go okay well yeah that sounds good i don't want particles in the gap and making them all the way up in there and getting in the gap and fucking up the buffer and so that's all this is there for is to keep stuff from getting in there however there shouldn't be anything in the enclosure with it that would get up into the gap and and fuck up that stuff even like uh, sand or um, mostly uh, what was it sawdust gets in there and it whatever it doesn't it doesn't hurt it it's, it's a fucking it's like you know you can actually throw a bunch of rocks in your carburetor and your engine will still run so <laughs> it can take quite a, a lot of abuse so but I take this out because again I want maximum cooling and that's what I can give my clients um, who you know I don't I don't do any of that uh, uh, oh, sorry, you fucked up your woofer and totally abused it. I'm going to give you a new one sort of bullshit. I don't do that. So um, now if I charged you $1,200, I would entertain that. See how that works? Do you see how that works? You pay for three up front, and then when you kill one, they give you a free one. You feel like a champ. If you do it again, then there's like, uh, nope, no dice. So rather than play that stupid game and get more money out of you, I just give you a fair price on the, on the first go round. See how that works? So... But here's the frame. It's already been modified by my machine shop guys. And then what I do is I have them add the standard eight hole pattern uh, for mounting because of the way the, uh, let me grab a cone real quick. Try not to make you guys too sick. Uh, well, I'll just grab this. No, I don't have that one. There it is. Okay. Well, let's grab this one. This one will work. This is mega roll. You guys like looking at that, so. That's how that ends up looking, see? See, it covers the original holes. You're like, well, why don't you just add more screws? And they're like, well, you could, but it's not gonna work with this surround because this is a standard surround, not that other bullshit that JL sells you. So again, the reason, the only reason that they sell that is it for cosmetics, yes. Um, for function, absolutely not. Um, but that's why they make the former out of Kepton is so that they know it's gonna be misaligned, they know you're gonna fuck it up, and they just don't want you to be um, complaining that um, it makes noise now. So to avoid that, they just make the Kapton out of uh, a, a reinforced plastic, which is, a, it's K-A-P-T-O-N, It's a, I think it's a DuPont product. Uh, and that's the trademark patent name of the product. It's actually open source now. I forget the, the, the actual name of it, but, um, they have an abbreviation for it when I'm looking at, it's like KSV or something like that um, for the, uh, uh, when you're looking through the specs for the, the voice curl. But anyways, um, let's see, 9.2 inch spider. The, the landing is too low. It should be up higher if you want more excursion. Uh, the coil, uh, well, well, let me pause it real quick. I don't, I, I got a little sick watching the video yesterday. So I'm over here by the coils. This is the copy that is made by Lord of Bass, uh, George Campos. So um, very tall wind height. It gets a little bit wasted because I, like I said, it the, the, the lower landing, the spider landing is too low and close to the frame to really take advantage of this kind of excursion. This is my version, which is, uh, we called it the hybrid 12W7D2. So when I got it from, uh, what was it? Uh, it doesn't say on here, but it is from uh, Econowine, see? Precision Econowine. So underground industries um, and this is my version so this is the one that I designed I go just make it close we also use Kapton they use Kapton it's vented there's no need for these vents they, all they do is, is cause trouble this one is fancy pants because it uses tabs all they do is solder the tabs underneath the Kapton or I'm um, sorry this is Nomex spun lace Nomex tape um, to reinforce it and, and also give it to something to glue to so because when you couple it like that, what ends up happening is all this surface area gets attached to it, even though you're only attaching to this little part. That's what's great about using that tape. It sort of uh, spreads the, 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 
the load transfer, the, the um, uh, spreads the load transfer point wider uh, across more surface area. That's why it does that. So, but there are several coils that actually will fit. This is our, um, if you want a taller one, it doesn't really matter because it only uses a nine inch spider. And again, that's even too big. Really, it should only use about an eight, maybe an eight and a half inch spider um, if it was properly designed. But a lot of that design that they put on there is limited by the surround. And that's why the surrounds wear out quicker than the rest of it. The rest of it is just super floppy butthole spider um, and really light soft parts. This is, you know, there's a lot of weight that you save by using uh, aluminum and then also by using Kapton instead of um, uh, aluminum. So what did I say, aluminum? I was talking about a copper coil, this one's copper. So this one's much heavier, but I like it because it's more, you know, what you guys are looking for, which is basically like sundown. So sundown follows many of the rules that I do. Um, some of them I don't like, that's why I had these made. This is um, a single voice coil, because I didn't want to do this. These end up being the same. This is technically an eight layer, but it's bifilier. So it's, and again, it goes back to being a four layer because you're wiring these in parallel. This is also a four layer, but it's also copper. See, ends up being about the same, same heft, same weight, same mass. Um, but this is the Lord of Base one. This one in particular is this one that part number and that's George's part number that is not and and it's associated with a condom wine. George doesn't change a lot of his part numbers which I like and it also makes it convenient for you see there's the part number for uh, George and now if you if you contact a wine and you go hey I want this part number it may or may not be open and available so because JL does the same thing they put their part number on there but as soon as they bring that part number up um, a wine's like nope you can't have that part um, now they can make you something similar, which is what I had them do for me back when the, the Van Vree boys, uh, Nate and uh, John, uh, father and son, uh, were um, designing there and, and, and solving some of the issues that, and problems that I was presenting them with. And one of the thing was we wanted a coil that was dual two so that it would take advantage of most normal high performance amplifiers that are stable to one ohm. Um, it also works good for when you're using a pair because then you wire them in series parallel to get a 2 ohm load Which again, you don't have to take the JL amp down to 1.5 ohm to get the max out of it That thing looks at the impedance and then adjusts the gain in order to give you maximum output every time That's all that stupid uh, Rips power supply does. It's 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 just a little computer inside of it. it. Is it magic? No, absolutely not Is it a 2000 watt amp that thousand slash one? Yeah, it's a 2000 watt amp but they, they regulate it so that you can only use a thousand watts of it. And then they back it up by recommending a hundred amp uh, fuse so that you can't draw any more than a hundred amps. So, but, and the reason why it lasts so long is because it's a 2000 watt amp that you're only using half of. See, see how that works? See how that works? And then they sell it to you for, you know, whatever, a dollar a watt. And uh, the same thing happens where, you know, if you fuck it up, uh, the first one they'll, they'll, sometimes, I don't think they do it anymore just because they know they can get away with it and they can, you you know, especially if you have like a boat, they're like, oh, you you own a boat? Okay, you got money to burn. And then they just charge you up the yin yang. And anybody that owns a boat or has been associated with that knows this. So whether or not you talk about it is something different because most of the guys on the lake are just posers and they're there to try to, you know, influence like their dumb girlfriend or some hooker that they brought to the lake or whatever. It's like, don't bring a hooker to the lake unless you got a lot of, a lot of cocaine and booze and things like that and you're ready to party and she brought her friends you know and all that stuff and you're paying for the day whatever you know it's a it's a it's a different lifestyle there's different there's so many rules that life does not tell you about and that's what you don't see when you're looking at some dude's instagram page where you're like oh my god i want to be like him or some girl's like you know super beautiful it's like she's also fucking crazy and she can't keep a relationship together and you're like well i don't care i just want to make a baby with her or try to make a baby with her and it's like I understand that, but you know, like just go jack off, like just knock the, the top off that, uh, the head off that beer and just, you know, take it easy. Um, let me get back to the frame. So, cause I, you know, I get on a tangent. All right. So 9.2 inch spider. Um, let me see. Let me turn this down a little bit. Uh, this is, yeah, this is the, the floppy one. Uh, the one they use is actually even softer. Uh, this one's actually a little bit stiff, but of course after it breaks in a little bit, it will be softer, but it's just usually a single, maybe a dual layer with really thin material. Um, PSI uses a uh, leaded version. Uh, I don't even think they're leads or leaded, leaded version, whatever you want to say, however you want to say it. 
they use a leaded version and they have instructions and everything like that when you buy their kits. But uh, again, David has been so overwhelmed like I have. Um, he just shuts the website down. Me, I prevent all of that. I just don't have a website. I'm like, nope. Because I know you guys sit at work on fucking company time and sit there and stare at woofers all day. Fucking jerks. <laughs> Your boss is paying you. And you're losing, you're stealing from the company. Stop doing that. And I say that because I just had to, I had to let somebody go this morning uh, for the day at least because she wasn't focused and she was out there in the heat when she shouldn't have been and she's getting overheated. And, and I'm like, are you here? Are you available? Are you present? And she's like, no. I was like, go home. I just gave her some cash. I didn't, even though we have another deal, I was like, just get out of here. So sometimes you got to pay people to go away. Uh, and a lot of people, especially right now, are going through a lot of hard times. And so it, it's best just to be uh, tolerant and give people a little bit of slack. Now, if they abuse that slack, that is something different. And then that's where you can come in and bring the hammer down on them. But um, let's see, 9.2, mega roll. That's basically it. The other thing you got to watch out for is just to make sure that your cone is deep enough. Um, one of the reasons why this frame is so tall and I, I think it's kind of biased because, again, this point right here where the, uh, it's a fulcrum point uh, uh, where the spider hits should be higher. And they should have used a, uh, a, well, a, a more shallow cone. One of the reasons why they used a deeper cone is because it's made of cheap plastic, which is not very strong. One way to sort of leverage that is to go with a longer, deeper draw. That's called deep draw. Um, and uh, that, that that way you're not putting so much stress on the angle that you're coming up at because the, the, the cone has to be at this angle but it's very deep instead of a, a strong paper cone being like this angle which ends up needing to be very strong because it's going to flex that way let me show you the cone I got a little parts collection I think I already have it sold so because I, I don't really want to sell these to you guys they're, they're, they're I only want to sell them to very specific guys that are capable and um, flexible on what I send them because I don't want to deal with JL people. So, but he's getting all this, he's getting all this, he's getting all this, uh, for like a hundred bucks and you go, Oh, I want that deal. And it's like, well, I already promised it to him. So that's how that goes. So, but if you look at that, look at that the cone it doesn't look too deep, but you know, when you put that big surround on it, it is a deep cone. Uh, especially like that's like a, geez, that's like four, four and a half, maybe five inches, uh, typical, uh, cone height on a, you know, like a, even, even the, well, I think on that one, I actually, on the last one, I had to use uh, the, uh, okay, let me show you real quick. Hang on. All right. So, okay. Um, I don't know if you guys did notice, but there is, let's see if this one, yeah, this is the original. So let's put them over on the table real quick. All right. So effective cone height, you basically just set it here on the table and then you set a little ruler next to it and then you measure. So this one's measuring right around just over two inches. And then uh, this is the original Mega Roll from uh, Lord of Base, which of course is from an, a, a factory in China. Um, Sundown doesn't fucking make parts. Um, I've told you this. Uh, they just outsource it to China. <sighs> Jacob's not as uh, creative or cool as you think he is. Okay. So they, they, the same goes with fucking girls with big tits on Instagram. They're not as cool as you think they are. Anyways, uh, this is the original, uh, which is just slightly lower than this one that I got from the same factory as this one. This is a this is the same molding. However, this one is a little bit thicker, so it's stiffer. Uh, this is my Gonzo cone, uh, and the body is also I think it's a little bit stronger. I think because of the the glass fiber laminate, just a little bit. This is the most recent version from Lord of Base. They changed it. See, it's deeper. And this is the one that I had to use on that last W7 that I made, uh, the Dual 2. Uh, and so um, is it, does it make it overall stronger? Yes. If you had a big machine to press it, it would, you know, be whatever, how many, however many more pounds stronger than these two. Um, because it, because there's, there's more material there. That's, that's, you get into that same thing about why uh, uh, speaker cones have uh, ridges or corrugated metal. Or containers, shipping containers have uh, corrugated metal. It, there's more material there. It's more strength. Um, do you actually need that strength? No. In this case, we just needed to dip down low because the former isn't tall enough. And that's one of the reasons why I originally, when I, um, I don't want to say inherited, I, I um, purchased um, 
the a lot of the parts from TC Sounds. So um, a lot of the original coils, let's see if I have an original one. Well, this is an original copy because um, after Tilo went bankrupt, he, he ended up stiffing a bunch of vendors. And then when you contact those same vendors, they're more than willing to sell, sell you old stock that they had available for that guy. In this case, it was TC Sounds. And I, th I think I remember the, the original part was like 1427 something W. It was like weird. I don't, I don't understand this nomenclature, but this is an exact copy. This is the dual two, three HP coil. It's made of round aluminum. It's fucking fine. It works great. What I had them do, but the original ones were like shorter like this because that's what Tila was using them for production. I said, Hey, how's, what's the tallest you can go? And PE can go up to about seven inches. Typical height is about six and a half inches. And all they do is use a, a material that's certain long. They also have to have a mandrel that's tall enough so that it it's you know it's perfect and it's it's the way it's supposed to be so but uh, i use taller formers just because you can always cut them down later um and i've i've talked about this for years and um this particular one that i have them design i didn't really specify coil light, uh, uh former height so i think i went with six inches and then this is a six and a half is that right no that's a seven that's a full seven so um that's my that's my wiener um, so seven and a quarter, if you're really counting. Uh, but, uh, um, the, the reason you do that is because you can cut it down later and you don't know your spacing in between the motor and the frame either. So sometimes like in the case of Mac, my modular, uh, audio idea, which again is just a, it's a, uh, derivative of what T, T, Tilo from TC sounds was doing. And then Tilo's is, is a derivative from, uh, the original, which is probably PV on their Black Widow series. Uh, but, um, I don't know, cause also I was doing custom woofers and some people wanted like a bunch of spacer rings and I go, okay, whatever. So then I would just order them that. And then whatever's left over, I cut it down with a razor and then I put the inner cap on, put the outer cap on, and then that's the end. So, um, I think that's about it. Let me follow up and look at the frame one more time and see if I forgot anything. I always forget stuff. And that's why this fucking video is already 17 minutes long. And I've been talking very fast to get as much information in as possible. Um, and you can slow down and replay it and all that kind of stuff if you want to. So there you go. Oh, one more thing in dealing with these. Um, so there are positions for one, two, actually three, four, five, six. There are positions for six terminals if you want to use the original, um, uh, uh, was it JL Audio terminal. So now in the case of the 12W7, for some reason, they only make it in single three ohm, which I think is kind of dumb, but like whatever. It's meant to be used with their amplifiers and that's the whole point using a single three ohm sub with another amplifier you're like i need it to get to at least two if not one ohm you don't but um it makes you think that and so jl is taking advantage of your uh ignorance and also the shop owner's ignorance a lot of people's ignorance and trying to sell you two of these why sell them one when you can sell them two and so that's why they don't make this one as a dual coil uh even though as you saw i did i made it a dual two right there you go. And, and what's funny is you can wire it to four ohm on a thousand slash one or a 500 slash one. And it still works fine because the amp is fine at four ohm. It just the gain on the fly. So, but anyways, um, this does have a little nipple, uh, to hold the terminal, uh, but you don't need it. Um, you just need the, the hole drilled and then you can drill and tap. Um, I did do a guess. Um, what you really want to do of course is have a machine shop do it and drill and tap it the way it is. That way it can be exact, but I did it by hand one time and it turned out pretty good. Um, you got to remember that um, JL does the, um, right here on this part right here, they uh, add foam tape because um, I guess it was wiggling or something like that and uh, they just wanted to prevent that. And I saved those two, see? See, there's the, there it is. So and there's that's where they put the tape. And then if you look at this terminal up close, it's just, that's it. They just come out of here and then they solder to there. Now they they double it up. So so this is uh, what's the this is positive on the left. So those two there are positive and then these two are negative. That's it. They just double it up. That's why they use four. Uh, I think it's also for flex stability, so it doesn't act all spaghetti string all over the place because uh, you don't want that uh, when this thing's moving. I don't like the design. Uh, you notice that they coated the wires not only for looks, but also in case it slaps the back of the cone. See, so it makes a softer noise uh, or no noise at all. You also don't want these wires slapping each other. 
and they're gonna touch each other if they're in pro close proximity like that. So, but again, it's just a terminal. They probably get these terminals from China like everybody else. They're a little oversized. They don't say JL on them, see? And they probably didn't, uh, what do you call it? Copyright or patent them like a, like a whatever. You can probably buy these if you just find the vendor, but they're not special. I'd rather just use the four gauge anyway. So again, JL is not magical. And there you go. There's the 13 version. It looks a little bigger. Let me look at it. No, it's the same because it's meant to fit a gauge anyway. So I think that's good enough. I love you guys. Uh, if you have any more questions, just let me know. And uh, uh, thank you all for your patience and kindness that you've shown me.